We're here with Bobby Rydell after an amazing, gritty performance at the Sharon. Bobby, I know your throat's a little sore, but what a show you put on tonight. Thank you very much. Where did you find the energy and the effort to nail this one? A, a Z-Pack. <laughs> <laughs> and a shot that went, <laughs> that went back there somewhere. Anyways, Bobby, I read your book. I reviewed your book. I love your book. It's, Thank you. It's brutally honest, yes. but it's so enlightening and so inspiring. Was it hard for you to be that open about your own failings and about all the things you've been through? Yeah, I, I told Alan Slutsky when you know, we got together, and we spent close to two years writing the book, and I said, if we're going to do this, I said, I, I have to be, as the book said, a lot of reviewers. It's brutally honest, it's very truthful, and it's very sincere. And I've been like that all my life, and that's the way I wanted you know, the book to read. Mm -hmm. And from all of the reviews that we've been getting, including yourself, thank you so much, you know, they all love, they all love the book. Everybody loves the book because it is brutally honest. Things that people never knew about me. Absolutely, Bobby. You, you have this image of being so pure and clean, yeah, right. <laughs> at least to the general public. I, I, I was a little dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little dirty back then, yeah. But you're a tough kid from South Philly. Yeah, I guess so. Did that help you get through all this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, you had to be streetwise, you know. You had, yeah. had to know how to handle yourself in South Philadelphia. That's yeah. right. I, you know, I wanted to ask you too, Bobby, about Julia. She's the lady who was hit by a car, yes. gave 75% of her liver to you, and 25% to a four-year-old girl. Yes. What an amazing, beautiful story. How do you yeah. describe Julia? How, well, unfortunately, I never met Julia, you know. Uh, it, it just, the way things happened, it was like a miracle because I'm O positive, which means I can give to anybody, mm -hmm. but I can only take O positive. Julia was O positive. And we got a call from the hospital saying, get your ass over here, we, mm -hmm. gotta, we gotta liver. And you know, like I say, you know, I, I split the liver with a side. And when we split the liver, she got 25, I got 75. And you know, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very lucky, you know, yes. that it happened because if it didn't, two weeks, I would have been dead. Incredible. But I'm 74 right now. If I didn't get the liver, I probably would have died at mm -hmm. 70. But the thing that I'm most proud of is that Asaya, she was only four years old. Yeah. She didn't live her life, but now she's got a new liver. What a and she could live her life. What do you tell people about being a donor? I know you said it's night, Bobby, but well, could you just say it again? you know, it's just, you know, like I say, if you're not an organ donor, next time you go for your, your, your new license, as a favor to me, because I know what I went through, please become an organ donor, because once again, it truly is the gift of life. Bobby, when you get this rare second chance at life, does life seem different? It, it, is it more, are you appreciated more, or is it... Well, is that a cliche question? I don't well, know. No, it's not cliche. Uh, of course I do. And, uh, you know, because, I mean, if I would have passed away in the OR, that would have been one thing. You know, I wouldn't have known one way or the other, you know, what the outcome was going to be. But now that it's close to four years that I've had the double transplant, I'm still able to do what I love. What I, what I love and I enjoy doing, and that's performing. Yeah. Because if that would have stopped, I probably would have taken a gun and shot myself, you know, but I've got that second chance now, as the book says, you know. Yeah, we're, we're all so blessed, Bobby. And when you sing those songs like Volare, back in the day, did you ever think you'd be singing them 50 years later? No. <laughs> no. How about Wild One? <laughs> that one, too. <laughs> What's your, do you have a favorite, Bobby, of all these songs? Well, there's, I, there's one favorite that I never do, because I, I don't have an arrangement on it, and uh, it's a song called I'll Never Dance Again was a great record, mm -hmm. really a great record, but I never do it. But that's one of my favorites. Well, Bobby, I just want to, I know I speak for everybody in the villages and in this room. We just say bless you and keep doing what you're doing because you made a lot of people happy tonight. I'll give it a shot. Thank you, Bobby. Okay. God bless. God bless.